Smelling like Dolce yeah. Cabana. Damn, I can probably hit your baby mama. Skirt, blowing on the pound. Looking at the scoop. I'm talking Obama. Keep a lot of guns. I'm young. Outside. Hey you guys, welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. I'm excited today because I'm back again with another freshman series video. Yes, this is part two dopes, of our freshman series, okay? So this specific video was a requested video. So I'm really excited to do this because as I said, like, I want you guys to comment under these videos and tell me what you want to see. Of course, I have planned videos, but we can always push those back because what you guys want is what I want to talk about, of course. So this video is going to be about what you really need or what you need to bring um, for school. So I'm going to be saying like what you need for your dorm. And I'm also going to say what school supplies I think you should um, start out with or that I started out with or that I noticed that I needed whenever I was first starting out as a freshman so if you want to hear about all of those things then stay tuned um, first I'm going to talk about what Texas State what their rules what their dorm rules absolutely say that you cannot bring and what the dorm rules say that you can bring and then I'm going to say what um, I suggest that you bring slash what I'm personally bringing um, and why. So if you are watching this and you're not going to Texas State, then I'm going to put a timestamp right here somewhere where you can skip to that time. Um, and that's going to be when I'm talking about what I think you should bring regardless of what school because of course you know if you don't go to Texas State your school might have different rules on what you can and can't bring so um you know you can skip all that okay so let's just jump right in first I'm gonna say what Texas State says you cannot bring okay I'm gonna just list it out so they say you can't bring large furniture couch or futon which I kind of agree with this um this didn't used to be a rule because I knew people who brought futons but I understand because you know it might not have that much space in there you know for all that so yeah um a blender a toaster a sandwich maker weapons obviously why would why you need weapons you don't need weapons okay candles i'm guessing it's a fire hazard um which is kind of sad because i love candles but we can't bring them wireless router hoverboard if you trying to ride around your dorm on a hoverboard what's wrong what what's not clicking no no no, no. you don't need that okay hot plates slow cooker pressure cooker i think this includes um what's it called air fryer i don't think you can bring that i know i know y'all gonna have that question because my mom even was telling me because i'm staying in a dorm again because i'm all right and my mom was asking me like, do you want an air fryer? Like that would be so great, right? And I wanted to say yes, but I think that pressure cooker, I think that includes air fryers, okay? Don't quote me, but I'm pretty sure it includes air fryers, so don't bring it, okay? Electric grill, alcohol, pets, um, portable AC. You don't need a portable AC because your dorm comes with AC. Um, and command strips. Now, I will say something about pets and command strips. So pets, you can bring a fish. You can bring a fish, but I think it has to be in a something under a three gallon tank. Don't quote me. The list is on um, all everything I'm listing is on Department of Housing Resident Residential Life, like the moving um, rules. All of that is on all of this that I'm listing right now is on there, but I'm just put my two cents so if that's wrong then correct me but i'm pretty sure that's what it is and then command strips when i was moving in my freshman year um the rules okay the rules from dorm to dorm was different some dorms said don't bring command strips because it'll mess up the paint but some dorms said do command strips and not thumbtacks because they didn't want you poking holes in the wall so me i would bring both because for example my dorm we asked them and they said that we could use command strips and i used command strips to hang some of my stuff up so you know i last year it varied from dorm to dorm but this year maybe they're having stricter rules on it but it definitely has it listed as what not to bring this year so just play it safe and if you're unsure when you get there just ask you're all right, 
Okay, now we're gonna move on to what Texas State says you can bring, okay? Um, washable face covers, multiple cleaning products, sanitizer, thermometer, TV, coffee maker, electric kettle. I don't know what that is. Mini fridge, microwave, laundry basket, bedding, towels, shower caddy, laptop, alarm clock, surge protector, extension cord, backpack, school supplies, push pins, or wall putty, iron slash iron board, ironing board, laundry detergent, hangers, closet organizers, toiletries, and shower shoes. Now that we have the basics out of the way, um, I'm going to tell you guys what I think you need, what I think you absolutely should bring slash what I'm bringing, okay? Everything I say on this list that I'm about to say from this point, I'm going to put in the description. So if you need to screenshot that and use it as like a checklist when you go shopping, please do, okay? So I'm going to start with um, things that are kind of different. So um, as I said just a second ago, they're allowing you to bring a microwave this year. And so I put um, the first three things that I think you absolutely need to bring is a mini fridge, a microwave, and a television. This is because, and this is star this right here, okay? At Texas State, they are trying, in the dorms, they're trying to minimize the amount of time that you're allowed to spend in common living spaces. This includes like um, most dorms have like a living space where they have a TV where you can sit on the couch and like watch TV with your friends, I guess. Um, you know, the kitchen spaces where you can go warm up. Um, there used to be a microwave in there, refrigerators in there and all of that um, that everyone in the dorm could use. They're trying to limit the amount of time that you can spend in there. Now, I haven't been training yet. I don't know if it'll be completely removed from the dorm, like not an option at all. But this year they're saying like they want you to bring your own microwave and your own fridge for sure because they don't want people sharing things because of the virus. So it's very important that you note know that bring your own stuff, bring your own fridge, bring your own microwave. Um, last year was a rule that you could only have one mini fridge per room and we weren't allowed to bring microwaves at all i'm not sure if that rule is transferring to this year but i would um, suggest that one of if you have a roommate one of y'all brings a mini fridge one of y'all use a microwave and just share with each other um just to play it safe and um yeah but i do recommend that you bring both of your own just for that reason and for your own safety you know just even if they do still have it as an option why would you want to share with people you like the corona is out like you don't share don't share okay bring your own i'm bringing my own you do it too okay um next bring at least one pot pan bowl cup plate silverware ice tray and mug if you plan on cooking now um you know if i knew people who you know like to cook like some eggs you know like if you want to cook some little stuff like that bring your own pots and pans for sure now last year i did not have to bring my own pots and pans because we were allowed to check out things from the front desk but now since you know the virus is going around a new rule they're gonna have at texas state is nobody's going to be allowed to check out things from the front desk as far as i know right now if that changes i'll let you know but right now they're planning on not allowing people to check out things from the front desk. So it's very important that if you plan on buying your own groceries and you plan on cooking and eating in your dorm as well as the dining halls, then um, bring your own pot, pan, etc. Because that that's gonna be important this year. The next thing that I said was important to bring was a um, washable face mask. I know that says they had it on their list, but I'm also putting it on my list. I got my washable face mask from Target and it was like a big pack of them, you need to bring multiple because um, when you are in common spaces, like if you're in a study room in your dorm or anything, you will be required to wear a mask this upcoming year. I'm giving y'all the inside scoop, okay? You will be required to wear a mask in common living spaces at all times. So if you're doing laundry one day and you like, my mask is in the washer, you need to have another one that you can have on your face. Otherwise, they're going to be like, you need to go back to your room. I'm just giving you a heads up, okay? So have multiple washable face masks and washable because so you won't have to keep buying more, you know? 
um, sanitizer, of course, just to stay sanitized. Um, a first aid kit. I had this um, even last year before the corona. And it came in handy because you get a little cuts and stuff. You might need a little band-aid. Have a first aid kit. I mean, it's self-explanatory. And um, cleaning products. The cleaning products that I um, brought to my dorm last year, I'll list right here. I brought a little mini broom and dustpan. It was like a little mini one and I put like a little command hook on the now okay remember what I said about command though ask your RA if you're allowed to do this was I put a command hook on the wall and I hooked my little broom and dustpan behind the door and it was fine when I need to sweep I could sweep but anyways um, a little broom and dustpan I brought disinfectant wipes um I brought my own little trash can and little mini um trash bags and um it's okay in the dorm they do provide like little um disposable bins but they're not cute and they also take up a lot of space like they're these big buckets that stack on top of each other so i do recommend like buying your own trash can so you can have your own little cute trash and also it could be small and compact to um you know sit beside your desk or whatever and it doesn't take as, up as much space because all space is important in a dorm room so i really do suggest buying your own trash can but if you can't then of course you can just use the one that's provided because that's what it's there for um and there, there ain't nothing wrong with that and cleaning products are important this year because of corona so you want to disinfect your surfaces so bring some cleaning products okay so those are like the essential essentials that um you know have become more important now that corona is around i wanted to say those first because that's what is kind of a little bit different okay now other stuff that i think that you should bring um a mini keurig or a coffee maker now this is if you're a coffee or tea or hot chocolate drinker i am so this is something that was this a little essential for me now you don't drink those things um just ignore that extension cord um, this helps because okay I don't know if it's called extension cord. I'll insert a picture of the one that I brought last year that I will also be bringing this year and um, this helped me so much because you know when you're in a dorm with a roommate and you're like sharing you're also sharing the plugs that's something that people don't think about like you know there's only so many wall plugs in a room and think about all the things you have to plug in your lamp your phone your computer maybe your tv like you know you have a lot to plug in and you know you might only have like two plugs on your side of the room and you might need more than that so bring one of these is my point like it will definitely come in handy because you'll have a lot of things that you need to plug in um i also put a fan because you know when you're sharing a room with someone you know y'all might agree on a t temperature to keep the room in your roommate contract but you might get hot so bring your fan desk lamp um okay so this is kind of situational because um some dorms provide this and some dorms do not like uh, my freshman year i lived in beretta hall and they did not provide a desk lamp so i brought one but the way you can find out if your dorm is gonna have something or not you can literally just look up your dorm hall like say you're living in i don't know blanco just look up blanco hall texas state and um if you scroll down it says all of the things they have amenities um you know it tells you all about that dorm hall basically it tells you what every room um includes and it also allows you to get a 360 view of the room um you know you can kind of just scroll around the room and see what it looks like it also gives you like an above little floor plan of each room like um that's what i use to kind of help me get an idea of how i was going to decorate and what i needed to bring you know so that's just a little side note another reason i suggest a desk lamp is because when you're with a roommate this my me and my freshman roommate we we didn't but one thing that helped was like something that she would do is like you know like be in the dark like she would sit in the dark and then if i would like be like okay i'm gonna turn on this light like she would kind of get upset about it 
um <laughs> so one thing i did have to do a lot of the time is if i needed to see something i would just turn on my lamp my desk lamp and like um turn it towards the thing i needed to see so i could see and um that helped a lot and sometimes you have to compromise when you're living with a roommate you never know so you know having a desk lamp an alternate you know source of light is helpful because you might not always be able to turn on your overhead light and so that's why um that's another reason why that's really important um shower shoes and shower caddy if y'all if y'all are sharing a bathroom with anybody i don't care if it's sweet style and you're only sharing it with like the room next to you you might not want to step on that floor like what if people leave their hair in the drain what if i don't know like i don't know bring some shower shoes unless you're gonna have your own bathroom like especially if you are in a traditional style dorm baby <laughs> those showers especially if you don't catch it right after they cleaned it baby you're gonna want your shower shoes so don't forget i bought some little shower shoes from target that had like little holes in the bottom that release the water through the little holes i might insert a picture if i can find it of those because those are the ones that i suggest and those are also the ones that i will be bringing with me next year um and a shower caddy so that you're able to clear I rebuke thee in the name of Jesus. Okay, sorry. But um, shower caddy, shower caddy so that you are able to carry all of your toiletries and things that you need to the bathroom, back and forth to the bathroom easily. That's a, you know, that's a giveaway. Everybody says that one. Shower caddy. Yes, you need it. So I already kind of touched on this, but command strips and push pins, because like I said last year, it varied from dorm to dorm. It's seeming like now they're saying definitely just push pins, but you never know. So just in case, I'd say bring both. That's that's just my suggestion personally. But if you cannot go with push pins because that's what's on the site, of course. I would suggest bringing a iron and like a little mini ironing board. I bought like a little mini small ironing board. I'll insert a picture if I can find it. Um, but it was literally like this big and um yeah it came in handy because when you're organizing like your drawers and stuff you want to save as much space as possible because you know you have limited space like the whole room isn't yours or anything so um you know things get wrinkled basically when you're trying to compact it into like you know and organize so you might need to iron your clothes basically so bring that if you can it's not necessary if you cannot so don't feel bad if you can't um a laundry bag and detergent detergent so you can wash your clothes but um a laundry bag i had like a laundry hamper my first year but i'm actually thinking about purchasing like one of those that kind of you can put your clothes in and carry on your back and take to the laundry room with you because you know those just seem more effective like to carry like easier to carry back and forth from the laundry room but that's just a personal like um preference i didn't have it for the first year i had just normal hamper and i would just carry it back and forth so there's nothing wrong with either one i'm just saying like the other one seems more effective i don't know i'm gonna see um and then of course bedding sheets but I do suggest bringing a mattress pad because for a lot of people, the twin bed is just not that comfortable. If you're somebody who's used to having like a king bed or a queen or, you know, something a little more comfortable than just a twin, um, a mattress pad helps a lot. Like I had one in, you know, I was, I slept like a baby every night. So, um, yeah, mattress pad. Um, and then I did say bring like a chair because it says you can't bring a futon, but bring a chair because you know if you have like a friend at your door and like hanging out there's not gonna be anywhere to sit like you get one little desk chair for your side of the room and then you have your bed and then if your bed is mounted then you can just take away the bed completely so really there's one place to sit so if you have like a friend over don't have too many friends over because corona but if you have like one friend over that you trust um they ain't gonna have nowhere to sit girl so bring a chair i suggest bringing a chair um 
I brought a chair last year. I'll probably bring the exact same chair this year. Um, bring a chair. Um, and then I put a rug. Um, not only is this like cute, but um, you know, you might not want to walk on the cold floor. I put throw pillows and blanket. This is more decorative. Um, you don't have to have throw pillows and blanket like your comforter and your regular sleeping pillow is fine. But um, you know, of course, if you want to spruce it up, make your dorm pretty cute. I'd say throw pillows and I'd say throw blanket. I also said space saving hangers. I this is what I used and they're just a little bit skinnier than normal hangers and um it worked for me. I was able to fit all my clothes. Um I didn't really use like a closet organizer or anything because I didn't really like need it. Like I didn't need it. I just had these space saving hangers and that was fine. But some people need more space. So um, you know, if you want to bring closet organizers, you know, I've I've seen that be helpful for some people, but I just personally never needed it. My wardrobe, I will say uh, my freshman year was pretty small. It wasn't like huge, but it wasn't like super small, but it was like, it could have been bigger. So, um, you know, if an organizer would help you, if you know you have a lot of clothes or a lot of shoes, get the organizer. Because one thing that I did notice was I did need more space for my shoes. That's one thing I did notice. So, you know, that could help towels obviously because you need to dry your body off i don't know um and something else that's very helpful um i'll insert a picture of it because i might not be able to explain it but one of those wraps it wraps around you and it velcros and then you don't have to really touch it that helped that helped me so much my freshman year just walking back and forth from the restroom because like you know you don't have to like hold your towel and hold your caddy and you know worry about being exposed like it kind of just velcros and it's secure and you know because you you'll be walking back and forth you know so um yeah i i definitely would say get one of those if you don't get anything else get one of those an air freshener um i have one of those automatic ones that like every 30 seconds it like you know one of those but um i definitely say that because you know you can't bring candles, so that's the best way to have your room smell good. I also said diffuser because I'm bringing a diffuser. Um, I think it helps. I don't know what it helps. I just like my diffuser. I don't know um, if you want one. It's not. It's not a necessity. I will admit, but and then of course decorations. Um, you know, I put string lights, pictures from home posters etc and that's just personalizing your room making it feel more homey because you know you might get a little homesick you know you're away from home for the first time so bringing some little stuff to make it feel more homey might help so I put that on the list because you know people usually do that normal thing and yeah that's my list of what you should bring that's that's that's, that's it um that's it next this is the last thing i'll be listing um i made a little list of school supplies i think um would be helpful to start out with um so of course i put a backpack um and the dry erase calendar we talked about why in our last video about grades so go hit that video up if you have not seen it yet but yes a dry erase calendar specifically a dry erase calendar okay and um a planner i also talked about that in the last video um pins and highlighters i put pins because that's what i write with but if you're more of a mechanical pencil person that's fine too um a laptop especially now because some of those like i said like some of those bigger classes are going to be online there's like no way it's going to be in person like one of my classes already and this is one of my upper level classes um already emailed me and was like okay everything was going to be online like some of your classes just might be online that's the reality so have a laptop like it's more important now more than ever and i don't know what the library's rules are going to be about using their computers now like i don't know how that's going to work so you know just better safe than sorry like bring a laptop you know um 
and something that I started out with so I I take a lot of notes and um I didn't know like in college you don't have like a school supply list like what is fifth grade like no you don't have a school supply list so what I did is I started out with um I think it was two multi-subject journals and one single subject journal and um I had a five subject a three subject and a one subject journal and um i just split that throughout my classes like um the multi-subject journals i used for multiple classes and the one subject i used for the class that i took the most notes in um so it could just have a journal to itself but um yeah and that helps you save money too so you're not like buying a journal or a binder for every single class because that's a little excessive like just buy you three good journals and you should be good um and then I put a lap desk because, um, you know, sometimes you don't feel like doing your work at your desk. So, you know, helps you get stuff done in the comfort of your bed. So, yeah, I put sticky notes because some people like to use those for, like, reminders and stuff. I know I did. Um, I had some sticky notes. Um, I put push pins as well and I use these a lot because in my dorm I had like a cork board and you know when I would get like little flyers or things that I wanted to remember or you know stuff coming up I would just pin it on my cork board and you know if your dorm has a cork board then I would suggest getting push pins <laughs> and then um paper like you always want to have like some little loose leaf paper you never know when you're gonna need it and so yeah not too many school supplies because you know college you don't need a lot of like supplies like scissors glue like you don't need a lot of that unless you're like art artsy kind of major i could see it like you know you might have a lot of little art projects but i'm like a poli sci major so i take notes like that's so journals and pens is what i need so um you know i guess that could vary that list could vary from major to major but um yeah that's what i suggest just generally starting out that's all the stuff that i think you absolutely need when you're coming into college thank you for watching this video um please remember like if you have anything you want me to talk about comment down below um because i can always make this series longer or shorter it's all up to y'all and thank you to the person who suggested me to talk about this video um and i hope that this helped also please remember i will put everything that i listed in the description box um if you need to screenshot and use it as a checklist when you go back to school shopping that's one of the most like exciting things like I remember like my first little back to school shopping session I was I was so excited so I know that y'all are probably getting pretty giddy you know excited well hopefully y'all are getting excited I know it's gonna be a little bit different this year but it's still like it's still like the whole experience of just you know getting ready for something new is just it's exciting so i'm excited for y'all and um comment down below tell me what you want to see next and yeah subscribe um because there will be more videos on the way for you guys so yeah i'll see you in the next one bye and she give me brain good honors fast and the furious brown no cover oh i don't give a dude that's man no